future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Daniel Castano, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a wee. So now here is Eddie James looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. First pitch of the AB now. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner in third from testing things here. Testing. To say this game has not started the way the pitcher wanted it to would be an understatement to say the least, but he can't worry about the mistakes he made here. He just has to get himself out of it. Easier said than done as the cleanup man steps in next. So next to bat will be Julio Rodriguez. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. A one count. Here's the pitch. Takes this the other way to right. All right he's in there. He's on the ball. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. A nice way to start a new series, d -Roll. The only thing you want to do is try to score early. It's always nice to win the first game of a series. Yeah, they're coming out swinging right here, trying to set the tone and let everybody breathe a deep sigh of relief, hopefully get this first game under our belt. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. The first baseman, Ron Hell, And a double steal try here. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Reined in. Pro gets him to that. But one's all they get as the run scores. Digging in will be Fernando Mendoza. Devers baseman. leads off first with one away. Mendoza. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there. Out. Relay to first oh, in out. time. And just like that, the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit. Now to bat, Riley Mayhan. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Next to stand in is Eddie James. He singled in his first A.B. Pitch on the way. Swing and a liner foul and out of play. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. And stepping in, Corey Bird. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Here now the 2 2. Hit out towards second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Striding in is Eddie James as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Now here's the first offering. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Round it, round it, round it. Reed Foley ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate. And they lead now by four. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second. Oh, his buddy is high-fiving team. And they get him trying to swipe a base to retire the side. Now to the plate, Eddie James. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. 
looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance, and it's gone. Well, as we take a look here, you can see it ran up high in the zone. Against other hitters, that might have been okay. But again... Next to dig in, Eddie James. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Cubs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Sean Reed Foley earns win number four on the season. Enrique Tejeda wraps it up for the save, his 13th score. of the year. The so that'll just Cubs. about do it Six for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and no our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For, for more, don't forget trip, to check out theshow.com. Two errors. They left eight men on base. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Eloy Morales will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now at the plate, Eddie James. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. To say this game has not started the way the pitcher wanted it to would be an understatement to say the least. But he can't worry about the mistakes he made here. He just has to get himself out of it. Easier said than done as the cleanup man steps in next. And now here is Julio Rodriguez. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. A swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. So runners in scoring position and here is Donnie Bell looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Right Get down. Five, five. There's one. Back to first but a good job to break up the double play as he couldn't make an accurate throw. Looked like that might be an inning ending double playoff. So next to hit is Eddie James. He singled first time up. Eddie. boy. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The run scores from second. It's a three nothing game. He'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. Now with the plate is Eddie James. He doubled Eddie. home a pair his last time up. And I don't know if he's getting waved around by his third base coach right there, but either way, this guy's not a burner. So I think in hindsight, they would have been real happy if he pulled up at second on that one.
And now Eddie James. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Eddie. A swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped go up. hard, go hard, go hard. The throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now at the plate, now here back. is Eddie James. He's doubled and Eddie. singled in four at-bats in this contest. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. Iowa jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Trevor McGill earns his fifth winner of the year as he goes six-plus innings and allows only a pair oh, of base hits. Enrique Tejeda closes Iowa the door for the save, his 14th. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over. Minor League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jordan Holloway, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? An interesting stat about this guy. Coming into this game, right-handed hitters are hitting below 200 on the season for him as the starting pitcher. So he must be doing something right when he's facing the righties. So now here is Jose Devers. He'll lead things off Lead here in the bottom the half of the first. That's shortstop. Okay. Now the pitch. Devers. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw will be Stay, too late, in. so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Into the box, Devin Hairston. Lifted base. down the line in left. We'll get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. Cut, cut, cut. Hold, hold. Next, it'll be Fernando Mendoza. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here. That ball down the hole. That's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now, you've got a couple of guys on. So runners in scoring position, and here is J.J. Lede looking to put them ahead early with this at-bat. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Swing and misses. as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. We've played an inning. Still nothing. nothing. Last half of the second set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, Connor Scott. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. In now, Santis Sanchez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Batting average down in the low 210s. No home runs as of yet, and eight runs batted in. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Skied down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. At the plate now is Tristan Pompey. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch outside the throw. He gets in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. Strike called. Now the throw down. 
Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Count even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Bottom of the second here with no score. Get on the ground out for short. He's right there. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one nothing ball game. First pitch of the A.B. now. No pitcher. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a big looping curveball in there for strike two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Digging in next, Eddie James. The pitcher. Eddie James. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a line drive. But that'll land foul strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. All right, one time. Get hard up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Hey, that ball hey don't hard let the fact job. that this guy's on the mound fool you right here. This guy has a nice approach at the plate, knows what he's doing, has history. I'm not surprised he was able to mix now in a base now. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So stepping in is Hoi Jun Park. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Now a throw over. He will get dirty, but he's back in safely. There goes the runner. Now he'll step off. Hey, let it fly, let it fly right here. Ademan on second. James on at first with two down. Again, he's off for second. Now a ball lined hard Come toward on, deep Dick, right field. To and what an effort on the running play to end the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jose Devers as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Strike one to start the at-bat. And he falls behind 0-2. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Now another 0-2. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And there's one away. Next up, Devin Hairston flew out last time up. The second baseman. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Hey, I love the end result. Diving catch, tip of the hat. But if we go back and take a look at this, it was the initial bad jump. I think that ball kind of confused him a little bit, and he had to make up for it at the end. At the plate, Fernando Mendoza. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He collected a base hit his first time up. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Here's the pitch. Ball two. The count, two one. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. So they go down without a whimper here. 
So the next to bat will be Eddie James. He singled in his Eddie. first A.B. Your pitch right here. <laughs> From the stretch. Tough to do much with that one. A swing and a miss. Runners at the corners, two men out. Offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The I Cubs are out in front, two to one. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Lewin Diaz. The first baseman. Line down the left field line. But uh, this lands foul for the first strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. A little behind on that swing, and now they'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. No balls and a strike to count. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. The hold at second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, D-Row, there's a case of trying to sneak a piece of cheese by a guy after starting yeah, off with back-to-back off-speed pitches, has him 0-2, and can't get that fastball by him. Yeah, you're doing him a favor right there. You got him dead to rights, 0-2. You can expand the zone. You can go north-south, east-west, and what does he do? He leaves a fastball, a hittable fastball. He's able to get a knock. So 1-2. Diaz over at second. Lede on at first with nobody out. And he struck him out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate that challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing in this, man, that's a sight of beauty. Santi Sanchez will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, now but back. with the hitter Left protecting two. with two strikes, oh, that's right. the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Swing and a miss on the splitter, and it's one and two. One and two. Come on, guys. One and two. Here it is. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four full. Iowa leads it two to one. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jordan Holloway. He's over one thus far. No pitcher. Swing and a miss at a first no pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he got him swinging. Jordan Holloway is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Jose Devers is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. 
next, here is Devin Hairston. Two outs Second already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. In there, 0-1. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Over to first, and that retires the side. So nothing happening this time around. We're through five here at the ballpark. The I-Cubs are out in front, two to one. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Eddie James. He flew out in his last A-B. First pitch on the way. Rip down the line. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is out on the tag. Now into the box, Fernando Mendoza. A hit in two tries so far. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Now a swinging bunt. That winds up foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Rodriguez is there, one away. Stepping in next, Lewin Diaz. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Hit in the air down the left field line. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about now the that, amount of strikeouts? Right What's even more impressive, no walks up to this right point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, d roll then you give up a two-out base hit, extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an A-B, no chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at-bat, every plate appearance. Nice job, maybe a little two-out lightning start. Hit well on the ground to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Alex Reyes will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 29, Alex Reyes. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. 4-2 to two, the final score tonight. Iowa took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Eddie James earns win number seven on the season. Enrique Tejeda records the save, his 15th of the Our campaign. So that's a wrap for us here for tonight. For my partners Iowa in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire no crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been Jim, the novelty of this rare player who can hit, defend, and pitch, it's got to be bringing him a lot of attention. And, you know, certainly the miners have that reputation of sometimes having a friendly, wacky sideshow feel. I have to think this is bringing a lot of tickets and fans into the ballpark. Uh, definitely. I mean, look, you know, pretty much any day you go to the ballpark, you're going to see this guy might be on the mound, might be in the lineup, depending mm -hmm. on, on, you know, when you have tickets. But this guy is always going to be doing something. I mean, I, I think it goes back... baseball of the minor league variety as the show brings you coverage from the Triple-A East. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp and the Iowa Cubs. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next.
Cole Stewart, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy... Now to the plate, here is Eddie James, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, Matt, he's so difficult to hit from both sides of the plate, but his eyes light up when he's hitting left-handed against the right. He's out on the mound. He's been torching them all year long. Striding in is Devin Hairston, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. So now to the plate, Jesus Sanchez flew out last time up. Back up the middle, and it's through into center field, base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Into the box, Eddie James. Now 0 for 1 Second for him here pitch. in this one. Eddie. First James. pitch coming, here it is. Pulled toward right center field. Giving chase is Brinson. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping in once again is Eddie James. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get... Now back to the top of the lineup, now stepping back. in, Jose Devers. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Grounded back up the middle, fielded cleanly. The second for one, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the second baseman, Eddie James. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Giving chase is Brinson. But he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the Come inning. On, you're down, the you're down. Throw, but he is in there with a triple. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes right to get hits it. early in the game Julio. to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh Julio. inning and this one to come through. Hit back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deck. Deficit. The batter will be J.J. Bleday. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. To short. Scooped up. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Jumbo Shrimp... Next, it'll Down be back. Eddie Second James. Basement. He's got one hit Eddie. and four at-bats. Yeah. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. All right, you're here. You're here. In. Throw got will be it. to first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. They get the run there, but this late in the game with the lead in hand, you'll... Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. 14-8 to is the final score here. The Jumbo Shrimp led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Zach Kelly takes the win on the mound, his second of the year.
these future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today it's the rubber match of this three game series between the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp and the Iowa Cubs. And now, it's baseball. It's the show and it comes your Iowa way next. Cubs. Sean Reed Foley, the Guamanian born pitcher, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Second we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. So now here is Corey Bird looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Corey. The 3 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Stepping up is Eddie James. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the AB now. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Lead off man on, hard of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound. Pick, up the, ball, pick up the ball. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. And a dive, but he's back. Duffy at second, James at first with no outs. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Come on, down, One down, there. down. On to first to complete the double play. So now into the box is Eddie James, singled in his last at bat. From the stretch. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Tag and he's nabbed trying for two. So here now is the pitcher, Daniel Castano. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. They make it look easy, don't they? Around the horn for the double play to end the inning. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. So here is Fernando Mendoza struck out in his last trip to the plate. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. On the first and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Uh, let it fly. Digging in, the switch hitter, Eddie James, as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Come on, right here, one time. Here we go. Oh, now. First pitch coming, here it is. Count one and oh. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Top to third. Tough to get two. Second for one. On the first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. New inning set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman, Devin Hairston. Now the one and two pitch. One. Hit back. One. And oh, this is off the second base bag. And they'll recover and get an out on the play. My goodness. 
big at bat now. And here is Eddie James. And the chance they walk him here to set up a double play that will keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. Sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now it'll be Santis Sanchez who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And now a two strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. One there. First, and it's a well-turned 3-6-1 double play, and quickly there are two gone. A single run good enough to do it today. 1-0 the final score. Alejandro Zepeda claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score.